Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Ani coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here in Six Rivers National Forest near Willow Creek, California. And today I'm going to show you how to make a 15, 20 minute texture paste. Super quick, super easy, and it works really pretty awesome. Um, so these are very similar to the ATC cards that I made, but these are going to be uh, some of the picolate for uh, my Patreon. Uh, new people that join. You're going to get a nice new beautiful piece of artwork made out of these gorgeous tiles. Um, I will put the links uh, for these for this stencil if it's still made. I'm not sure if it's still made. Um, I do not use an exact recipe for my texture paste. I go more by how it feels and how I want it to react and how I want it to be. Um, there are a lot of recipes out there. Texture paste has been around forever and people have been making it on their own for years and years and years and years. So um, it was kind of fun to play with though and to make my own. I, I did enjoy it greatly so I will put all the links down on my Amazon list for how to make this and it's super easy. I would highly suggest doing it. Get yourself one of these guys. This is the silicone brush. I have it on my link. It is a very worthwhile tool uh, for this process especially because it's helps to get everything really well mixed in. Okay guys, that's it. Um, hopefully I'm gonna be able to schedule this for when I'm on my trip. So um, this is a little bonus video. All right guys, love ya. Mwah. Bye. Hi guys, how's it going? Happy St. Patrick's Day. It is uh, March 17th. It's about uh, almost three o'clock. Oz and I have done one walk today. He's hopefully going to stay sleeping, but when he hears me starting to talk, then he thinks I'm talking to him. Now, I was going to use gesso in a stencil, and I was I was planning on doing that. Uh, but, uh, you know, it just wasn't feeling thick enough to me. And this jar is really dried out on the edges, so I don't want to get lumps in there. So... I've decided to kind of experiment and play here a little bit. I don't do concoctions very often. I like to make concoctions. That is actually a pretty fair amount of gesso. And we're probably going to need at least that much Mod Podge. Now, these two pieces I'm, I'm going to do the ATC exchange um, video, but these two pieces underneath of here were, um, I'm actually going to pour a little bit of that just so back in here. Pieces that I had made off of that first video for the Valentine's ATC. It is two pieces of scrapbook paper, just plain normal scrapbook paper covered with base layer ephemera. And um, you guys did see me do all of these, so that should not be anything new. This is my gallon of Mod Podge. I know I'm going to want glue in a major way, probably more so than gesso. And baby powder. Is it going to let me open that up? No. I have a feeling I have too much liquid in here. This is not the way to do this. I guess I need to open the door back up. This stuff is toxic-ish. <sighs> smells pretty. Now, do I want something that's as thick as texture paste? I don't know. I don't know.
So what I'm going to do here is actually take a little bit more of this out and add it back in later as needed. I don't want to keep um, sometimes when you get things too liquid it's really hard to get them stiffened back up so you're better off starting with less and adding back in. I'm going to add in a little bit more of the Mod Podge though. I want the glue more than I want the gesso. Although I'm sure the gesso does have some sort of glue component to it. It's probably just Mod Podge and People have been making their own texture paste for years and years and years. There are many, many videos on YouTube. There are also a lot of um, exact measurements, I'm sure, somewhere out there. I'm just not a fan of exact measurements. I know what goes into it, and that's what concerns me. Okay, so this is a super thick. I don't like it. Guys, this is a silicone brush. Silicone brush. I would highly, highly, highly recommend one of these. I'm sitting here and thinking if I want to add a little color to this. I think some yellow ochre in here would be cool. Not a ton. But, you know, I'm not a fan of white, so let's just make it nice and earthy right off the bat. I don't want to, you know, have to work around a color that is hard to use, though, so we don't want to go, that was a lot of paint in there. <laughs>
I would like to incorporate all of that into here, but uh, yeah, I don't know how that's going to work. That's a pretty nice consistency right there. I like that. Let's um let's see if we can add all of this in and then we'll add a little more powder and just make one big batch of it. Okay, so that's adding a lot more white paint into there. I didn't want all of that gesso. I want to make sure we have enough binder so the glue is the more important, not the gesso. I'm sure that's getting my camera all yucky. All right, more of this Mod Podge in here.
let's add in a little bit of this burnt sienna, or no, this is red oxide. was the wrong color choice wasn't it all right what's the opposite of red is green let's brown that down that red oxide is a little red so let's make it brown That looks like clay, which is really beautiful. Just a, little, just a touch more of the green in there. And let's add a little bit more of uh, Prussian blue here. That'll uh, take it down here just even a little bit more. Nice gray color. Ta-da! Okay. That's how we make that. Very nice, smooth texture. Beautiful stuff. Um, is it too runny? I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take to dry. Now. Yeah. This stuff always takes a long time to dry.
That looks perfect. See, no rocket science. Just make your own. Now, I'm not using crackle paste on this one. I probably could have, should have, I don't know. Wanted to try something a little bit different. So, we're gonna try something a little bit different. All right, remember, this is just plain old scrapbook paper. The base layer is on here. We're gonna play with some stencils. All right, guys, that is that. A 20 minute texture paste. Okay, we'll chat later. Bye.